Okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this boat. This is a miracle boat. This is not just any boat, and I'm gonna give you all the details about this boat. We were down in Lodi at the uh, uh, Modern Mana Health and Healing Crusade, and Danny Vera was there, and this has been probably five years ago. This vessel was right there at the edge of the Lodi Great Festival, or the fairgrounds, yard and it was there with a for sale sign and i said to myself as i went by and uh, as i was going in there on that uh, friday i believe it was i said lord if it's if you if you impress me when i leave here if i remember this vessel and i am impressed to look at it um, i'll go ahead and take a look at it and uh, you know i didn't really pray like it's god's will for me to buy it i just said lord if you know, if that's something you want us to have or look at, remind me, because I'll probably forget. And, and sure enough, um, I didn't think about it. I totally forgot about it the entire time I was there at, at um, Danny Vera's crusade. And so we were leaving, and suddenly it popped into my mind. And I, and I was like, oh, there was a boat over here. So I, I turned around, I, I did a U-turn on the street, and I came in to the parking lot where it was at. And I asked the guy how much he wanted for it. And he said, oh, you know, my friend, that's his boat. And he he left it here. And then he, he died of a heart attack. And his son, he just, he's into drugs. And he doesn't, he doesn't want it. And he doesn't get it. So I have the title. He signed it off. And I've got two titles, pink slips, whatever you want to call them. Um, DMV registration slips. And uh, the boat has... I don't know, is it a different, I don't even know. They look about the same, but there is one for the trailer and one for the boat. And he said, I can sell it. So he said, oh, it's just a piece of junk. And I thought, well, God did remind me. So how much you want to sell it for? Well, I'll tell you, the price he gave me was very reasonable. Uh, and I don't want to go in and tell you here right now because this is going out to a lot of people. But... And I'm obviously this video is about selling this. I'm not making a profit out of off of this because B O A T means bust out another thousand. You know that boats can be expensive, and I'll explain in a little bit here. So, with our group, our little Kalapa House of Charity group, our board members put together money, and we bought this. I went down, picked it up in Lodi, pulled it up here to um, Butte County, went to the Oroville Lake in the evening to try it out. And it was uh, 4th of July, actually. And we took the whole group here at the house, our home here. Uh, this is the Kalapa House here in California. We took the group out on the lake, and we were able to go right to where the fireworks were. And we felt like we were in a yacht. It was awesome. Look at this. Um, it's a little, but yet it's big enough that we could accommodate all the adults inside making their lunch. It has a stove and an oven. People are up top, young people out front, and people in the back. It has a twin engine, inboard, I guess it'd be an inboard outboard because it has the, the transmission goes up and down the, the prop. So they are Chevrolet engines with a carburetor. So very simple engines, straight four Chevrolet engines. So there's two engines, they're a straight four cylinder Chevrolet, 125 horse each very simple design and they run great the boat was awesome it ran great no problems the lights worked the stove worked we cooked um the winch in the front even worked it was beautiful and i'm talking about the winch up here this one also works but there's electric winch so you can you can uh use that as well so we had and there's also a a brake i'm sorry right in here a master cylinder for for the trailer right there that breaks the wheels so this is the deal um the license has expired ran up we've been working in the philippines in the mission field there and uh once there's electric toggle switches these little electric switches go from forward to reverse and the kids were up front with me and one of the little children bumped it at high speed going forward which means it has a little shear pin well that was okay but brendan put a nail in place of the shear pin and so the next time a kid bumped it which was another trip out on the lake it broke the axle 
Um, I'm talking about the drive line, not the axle, but the drive line for that prop. So I went down to uh, ship shipwrecking yard or something. It's called uh, Ship City. Or it's down in Sacramento, and I bought another drive line for that. It was thousand dollars, and so I put some money into this. Now it's been sitting and you can see a flat tire there because it was over here and I made a flat spot here and then uh, pulled it over here. And so, you know, it's it's just normal stuff that happens when a thing is sitting. I noticed some rust on the exhaust manifold, so I've taken that off to take it to a welding shop. But, you know, this vessel is a very nice, it's old, but I will sell it to you guys, whoever comes here and wants to buy it. Um, I'll sell it to you for a thousand dollars. Now, let me let me tell you a little bit more. What we started doing with this boat is we started taking groups out on the lake for stop smoking programs. We would go out there for three to four days, and they had no cigarettes. And it was just it was an awesome lake experience because we'd be out there, um, and to be out overnight, you have to be actually fishing. Of course, we didn't catch any fish. We just had a uh, fishing uh, someone with a fishing license or whatever and we would have a fishing pole and just mess around, play around like we're fishing. But um, we're not there for the fish, obviously. We're there to get healthy. And uh, there's enough sleeping space. There's a sleeping uh, bed in the front. There's sleeping beds. The table goes down, down into a bed. There's sleeping areas in the back. And so um, it would be a blessing because for $1,000, that's about 50,000 pesos, we could actually do a lot with that in the Philippines. We could put that money into our mission boat over there and distribute literature and books. So this is this is my my question to all of you and my challenge. This is the end of March 2018 and I'm going to ask if you would please share this video. This has been a very wonderful blessing this boat. It's not, not just an old piece of junk but it is an older boat but that doesn't mean there's any you know problem with it being older actually it's a very nice design look at it it can it's a it we pull these uh big inner tubes and uh banana tube thing in the back the kids love it and we just have had a wonderful time with this vessel so please share this video i i can't even figure out how to put a craigslist ad up i i don't know and i do have this and this is going to be another video we're going to sell this motorhome for a thousand dollars as well which is also a uh, smog exempt and it's on a um, uh, non-op so its license is up to date and so i'm going to tell you about that next